So I'm going to show you a tension relieving knot. I'm going to show you it with a surface suture, although it would normally be done with a buried suture, because we normally use our buried sutures to remove all the tension so that we can do nice fine sutures on the surface and get a good scar. But for the purposes of seeing the knot more easily, I'm going to do it on the surface. So here we've got our normal thread. We've gone in with the needle here and out here. We've got a, a suture free end here and the needle end there. So what we normally do with our surgeon's knot is put the needle driver, needle holder within this arc made by the two pieces. Take up two throws and grip the free end as normal and then pull that down. Okay, but here we've got quite a lot of tension, so it's going to slip. Okay, it's opening up. So what we often do in this scenario is we ask our assistant to hold the wound edges together while we pull the knot down tight. But that can be time consuming. You don't always have an assistant, etc. So it is easier to use this tension relieving technique. So after we've taken the first two uh, throws of our normal surgeon's knot, um, we then go in for our uh, next throw within the arc of the two ends of the suture as normal. We put uh, a needle holder in there, we take one throw, we grip the free end, and entirely as normal, we pull it down, okay? But, but instead of pulling it all the way tight, you can see it's coming down as normal, we then need to insert our finger into that loop around the side like this, so from bottom to top, if you like, the way we're facing. And then we apply a little tension on the needle holder end. And that then brings the wound together like a pulley. Okay. We keep that tension on the needle holder end. And you can actually slip your finger out of the loop now. The tension's still there. And then you just drop that throw right in and tighten. Then the knot is actually held. But we need an additional throw as per normal to lock it. So here we have our loop. We put another throw in like that with our square knot. And as we bring it down, you can see it's nice and square. And we bring that down to finish nice and tight. And then we will just trim as normal. And that's your tension relieving knot.